Before sizing a solar charge controller, there are a few factors you need to take into consideration. Please let me know where you're watching from in the comment section. The first factor you need to take into consideration is the PV input voltage. For this charge controller, it is a, it is a PWM solar charge controller. The uh, maximum PV input voltage of this charge controller is 50 volts. What this means is that it's 50 volts. What this means is that the voltage that is coming from your solar panel, this is your solar panel to the charge controller, SCC. SCC is there, there stands for solar charge controller. The voltage coming from the solar panel to the charge controller should not exceed 50 volts. That is the maximum rated PV input voltage for this charge controller. It should not exceed 50 volts. Now, there are some controllers that can that can handle up to 100 volts. MPPT charge controllers can handle up to 150 volts, 200 volts, 250 volts, depending on the charge controller. So you always need to look at the specifications of that charge controller to know how you are going. This will help in uh, help you in wiring your solar panels, whether you're going to wire them in series or in parallel. So if you're having the maximum PV input voltage uh, uh, at 50 volts, it means when you're wiring your panels, either in series or in parallel, the voltage coming from the solar panels should not exceed 50 volts. Why? Because it is the uh, maximum rated PV input voltage of the charge controller and you need to take it into consideration because if the voltage is higher than the rated pv input voltage of the charge controller it will destroy the charge controller also charge controllers have minimum pv input voltage you also need to look at the minimum pv input voltage the minimum requirement of that solar charge controller because if the voltage falls below its minimum pv input voltage the charge controller will underperform it will not charge your battery bank very well then the next one is the battery bank voltage now this is the charge controller and you have your battery bank this is your battery now the battery bank voltage it may be 12 volts 24 volts or 48 volts so you need to know the battery bank uh, your battery bank voltage and also if the charge controller you want to use will be able to charge that battery bank for this one it is only rated for 12 volts and 24 volts battery bank it means i can only use this charge controller to charge a 12 volts or a 24 volts battery bank it is automatic so once i connect this charge controller to a 12 volt battery bank it will recognize that voltage and it will, you know, it will display here on the LCD screen. If I connect it to a 24 volt battery bank, it will also respond. But if I connect this charge controller to a 48 volt battery bank, it will not respond. And because the 48 volts is higher than its rated battery bank voltage, the 48 volts, that 48 volts can destroy, you know, your charge controller. So always know the rated voltage of the charge controller and it must correspond with your battery bank voltage whether your battery bank is 12 volts 24 volts or 48 volts the your charge controller rated voltage battery bank voltage should correspond with the the voltage of your battery bank so before choosing your charge controller after doing your calculation and sizing your battery bank so when you know when sizing your battery bank it is there you choose whether you're going to use 24 volts 48 volts or 12 volts so after choosing it you should know that the charge controller you are going to use will should be capable of charging your battery bank and the next one is the pv input power all charge controllers also have maximum pv input power for this one if you are using this charge controller to charge a 12 volts battery bank, the maximum PV input power for this charge controller is 390 watts. It means that you cannot send more than 390 watts to this charge controller if you are using it to charge a 12 volts battery bank. But if you are using it to charge a, for a 24 volts, sorry, a 24 volts battery bank, you can wire your panels up to 780 watts. So if you have the one that uh, the voltage is rated at 48 volts, the 
uh, uh, PV input power uh, will be higher. Now, some MPPT charge controllers can accept up to 2,000 watts, you know, 3,000 watts, 5,000 watts of PV input power. So always look at the specifications of your charge controller before choosing the size of the charge controller you're going to use uh, in charging your battery bank. So this is how to choose the size of the solar charge controller you want to use. The solar charge controller SCC is equal to maximum size of PV array divided by maximum power voltage of PV array multiplied by 1.2. The 1.2 there is the safety factor. So the maximum size of PV array is the total wattage of your solar panels divided by your maximum power voltage. The maximum power voltage of uh, a solar panel is the voltage you measure from the solar panel when it is connected to a load. Remember, we have VOC and we have VMP. The VOC is the voltage you measure from the solar panel when it is not connected to a load, while the VMP is the voltage you measure from the solar panel when it is connected to a load. So let me show you a few examples. Now, this is a solar panel setup. And these solar panels are connected in series. This is 440 watt Jinko solar panel. Now, the maximum power of each of these solar panel is 440 watts. And the maximum power voltage is 32.81 volts. These solar panels are connected in series. It means their voltage will double, but the current will remain the same. So since it is a series connection, will be having a higher voltage and the current will stay the same. So what we are having is total power. The total power here is 440 watts multiplied by 4. There are four pieces, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 440 watts multiplied by 4 will give us 1,760 watts. That is the total power for this solar panel array. Then the total uh, maximum power voltage is 32.81 multiplied by 4 because they are in series, so we are adding. So we have 32.81 multiplied by 4 will give us 131.24 volts. The voltage has doubled to 131.24. Why? Because the solar panels are connected in series. Now the current is still the same. The maximum power current of this solar panel is 13 0.41 amps. That is the maximum power uh, for this uh, solar panel. Now, this is 32.81 multiplied by 4, 131.24 volts. Now, the size of charge controller will be 1760 watts divided by 131.24 uh, volts. Now, multiply by the safety factor of 1.2. So, this will give us 16 amps. But it will be difficult for you to get a 16 amps uh, charge controller in the market. So you can push it further, approximate to 20 amps. So the size of charge controller will be 20 amps. But when choosing, you should know that the maximum PV input voltage of this charge controller should be able to accommodate 131.24 volts. In other words, you go for an MPPT charge controller that have uh, up to 150 volts. Uh, that's the maximum PV input voltage. Then the maximum power of the charge controller should also be able to handle 1,760 watts of uh, PV input. So this is for series connection. Let me show you how to size the to choose the size of a charge controller uh, using when you connect these panels in parallel. Now, this is for a parallel setup. You can see I have rearranged the panels. The orientation have changed. You have the positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So these solar panels are connected and unconnected in parallel. Parallel connection is positive to positive, negative to negative. So you can see that their total power is still 440 watts multiplied by 4 is 1760 watts. The power is still the same because there are four pieces of 440 watts. But the total VMP, because they are connected in parallel, current 
will increase, but the voltage will stay the same. So the voltage is still 32.81 volts. So the size of charge controller for this parallel setup will be 1,760 watts divided by 32.81 volts multiplied by our safety factor of 1.2. It will give us 64.4 amps, which is approximately 80 amps because it will be uh, difficult for you to get a charge controller that is rated 65 amps, 70 amps, or 75 amps. You have 50 amps, uh, you have 45 amps, 30 amps, uh, uh, 50 amps, you have uh, 60 amps, then you have 80 amps. So if uh, the next value you have is not, you cannot get anything around 65, 70, 75 amps, you go for 80 amps. Now you can see the difference. For the series connection, our size of solar charge controller is uh, 20 amps. Now for power connection, we're having 80 amps. So when you connect your solar panels in parallel, you are building the current. And because you're building the current, the size of charge controller you're going to use will be large because that charge controller must be able, any charge controller you're choosing should be able to, you know, uh, carry the amount of current, current that the solar panels will be producing. So since you are connecting them in parallel, the amount of current coming from the solar panel will be high. So that is why you need a very high charge controller to, you know, be able to accommodate the current that is coming from the solar panels. But in series connection, the voltage is high. And because the voltage is high, the size of charge controller will be small. And that is why we're having 20 amps. So if you compare the cost of this to the cost of this, the, the difference is much. Then another thing is that the size of cables you are going to use for this parallel connection will also be large because they must be able to carry this amount of current that is coming from the solar panel. But if you are using the series connection, the amount of cable you are going to use will not be large. In cable sizing, you will discover that the cable you are using for this 20 amp charge controller for the series con connection will be smaller, far, far smaller than the size of cable you'll be using for this 80 amps uh, charge controller for a parallel connection. So when you are choosing your solar system or when you're sizing your solar panels, always take into consideration parallel and series connection. When you connect your panels, you have many panels and you connect them in parallel the current that will be coming out from those panels will be very high. So because of that, you will need a big charge controller that will be able to accommodate that high current. And you, your cable size will also be large. Now, choosing a large charge controller and large cables will make the overall cost of that system to increase. The cost will be higher as compared to this one. Although the MPPT charge controller is also expensive, but it will allow you if you are using an MPPT charge controller, if you have many panels, you know, wiring those panels in series, uh, you know, won't be a problem. And we also have series parallel connection. You can wire these panels. We have four of them. You can wire two in series, two in series, and you parallel them. So let's do it and see the size of charge controller we will use. All right. This is a series parallel connection. You can see, uh, Two of the panels are connected in series. These two are connected in series. Now, when you connect them, these two in series, you can see that their voltage is 65.62 uh, volts. Also, these ones are connected in series and their voltage is also uh, 65.62 volts. So, if you look at them, this pair here in series, this year in series. Now we parallel them. You can see negative to positive. This one negative to positive. Now this is the negative terminal of this set. You can see it here going to this place. Then this is the positive terminal of this set. You know, joining the positive terminal of this second set. So this is the positive and this is the negative terminal. So this is a series parallel connection. In a series parallel connection, both current and uh, voltage will increase. So here we're having 65.62 volts connected in series. 
65.62 votes connected in series. Now, because we parallel these two together, their voltage will remain the same, which is 65.62 volts. So the total power is still 1,760 watts, and the voltage has changed. The, the VMP, the maximum power voltage, is now 65.62 volts. So if you divide 1,760 watts by 65, 0.62 volts multiplied by our 60 factor, we will have 32.2 amps. So approximately, we'll be using a 40 amps charge controller for this series parallel setup. So this is how to choose the size of uh, charge controller you need for your solar setup. So always look at the maximum PV input voltage, the maximum power input power of the solar charge controller and your battery bank voltage. All these things must, you know, work together. They must, uh, you know, uh, align with each other for the charge controller. Both the solar panels, the charge controller, and the battery bank will function efficiently. If they don't correspond, the charge controller will not be able to effectively and efficiently charge your battery bank. So also, don't forget, to let me know where you're watching from. If you need my PDF on how to size a solar power system, click the link on the description of this video or the comment section to you know, get the PDF copy. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.